awards that you are seeing on this table, they belong to a former world champion water skier, Christy Overton Johnson, who's with us, who's written a book called Hit It, which, by the way, is what water skiers say to the people on the boat when they're ready to go. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Joel. Now, I have had some success in life, but I've never been a world champion at anything. You are the equivalent of an Olympic gold medalist in your field. What was that like? It was amazing, but it didn't happen overnight. But I can still remember the, the highlight of my career was standing on top of the podium at the World Championships, watching the flag raise up and hearing that national anthem. I'm getting goosebumps imagining it. A champion. No one better. And eventually, it all came crashing down. It did. And actually, it was that crash and that fall that saved my life. The night before one of the biggest tournaments, U.S. Open, I found myself in a hospital room having a bowel obstruction. And all of a sudden, for the first time in my life, I could not be Christy the skier. I couldn't do what I had always done, and I couldn't be who I'd always been. And that rocked my world. Mm -hmm. And that loss of identity shook you to the core. You were either going to deem yourself a failure or you are going to find a new and a different definition of victory. You know, there's victory, there's the, the success of the world, and then there's true victory. And what I learned when I was laying on that hospital bed, not mm -hmm. just that time, but 16 surgeries, oh. going through chronic illnesses like Lyme disease, being diagnosed with fibromyalgia, going through international adoptions that were supposed to take months and took years. When I got in those crises in my life, what I realized is these medals, they couldn't come to my rescue, but I did find someone that could. Who? I found me a power source. <laughs> you know, as a skier, you've got to have a power source to get out of the water. I believed in the power mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. who is my power source. Mm -hmm. Like that skier, there was this, this line God had thrown out to me, his son Jesus, and I believed in that. But you know what? Every day I said, hit it to a boat. But for probably 25 years of my faith journey, I did not say hit it to God. You know, I didn't even know what it meant to be a Christian. I, I didn't know what it meant to be come outside of belief of God in Jesus. I didn't know what it meant to be committed to know Him, not just intellectually, but in your heart, to serve Him with what you do and your passions, and to allow His love to trust it so that He can guide you to your destiny. And when you connected to your true power source, mm -hmm. when that liberation happened for you, where did it call you to go? To prison. <laughs> <laughs> but let's hasten to clarify, you visit. I get to go in and tell people about the power source. When I got in there, I saw something for the first time. I didn't see prisoners. I saw people. I saw fathers, sons, husbands, brothers, daddies who were being reunited with their family, and God broke my heart. And when I left there, I said, God, I'll go anywhere. I'll say, hit it to you. I've said that. And if that's where you want me to go, you put me there. And the next week, he took this magazine that I write, Victorious Living. He puts it miraculously in the hands of the Department of Corrections of all of Florida prisons. And they call me and they say, we want this magazine in all Florida prisons. And within a week of my prayer and my wow, commitment wow. to God, wow. I'm in prison. And now I have a whole prison ministry with 38 women corresponding daily with inmates and encouraging them. Learning from this what true victory and liberation is. They are, and it's saving lives. We get letters every day where inmates, they're getting ready to hang themselves. And in their darkest hour, they look down and they're like, you know what? I want to find my true identity. I want to find victory. And people can have true victory wherever they are. And, and those of us on the outside who would like to empower your efforts in the prison, yeah. how do we do that? They can help me send this magazine into where nobody can go. They can sponsor inmates. They can sponsor prisons. And they can bring me into their corporation, to their organization, and let me share a little bit about that true liberation and true freedom. I want to tell you something. I'm not a prisoner, I'm not a water skier, I'm not even a Christian, but boy do I find you inspiring. Thanks for being here. Thank you, John.